Hey everyone, welcome to another episode of The Daily D. Today's topic is quitting. Now how many times have you quit on something, right? I think many of us have given up or stopped doing something. Now quitting can be a positive thing when you're doing negative things. But for the most part, we think of quitting as a negative, meaning we're not trying to aspire to quit. Many people are not aspiring to quit doing things. In fact, they're trying to do things. So many people go through life saying, you know, I need, I need to get this done. I need to get a better job. I need to make more money. I need to get in better shape. I need to, I need to, right? And a lot of these things are very true. Like we need to do these things. The challenge that most people face, sorry about that. The, the, ch the challenge most people face is that they quit. And they quit usually just right before they were going to see some wins, some success. Usually people will give up right before they're about to see success. Now, they don't know that and neither will you. And we'll never know because you know why? Most people quit right before they are about to get where they need to be. And I've seen this many times in my life personally where I've decided to do something and then all of a sudden I think, oh, it's, maybe we shouldn't do that or maybe I shouldn't. And, and the whole truth about the matter is is that you you made a decision, I made a decision to do something. Why would I change my mind? Why would I change my mind? And the honest truth for most people is because they don't have the confidence to do it. They lack confidence, they lack the ability. They feel like, well, I messed up or mm, maybe it's not for me. Uh, being successful is not for everyone. You ever been there? Have you ever said those things? So here's some tips, right? Tip, tip number one to, to, to not get in a position to quit. Number one is there will never be a lack of resources, just a lack of commitment. Just remember that because there you can always say you don't have enough time. You can always say you don't have enough money. You can always say you don't have enough energy. You can, you can make up excuses for everything. But the honest truth is it's you're really saying that you're not committed. So recommit yourself every single day, the tip is to write down what you're committed to. If you're committed to losing weight, then write down, I'm committed to losing weight. I'm committed to losing five pounds, 10 pounds, 20 pounds, 50, whatever the number is, write it down every single day without fail, write it down. So right, tip number one is just reaffirm it every day. Reaffirm it every day, Saturday and Sunday included guys. There's no days off, just continue to reaffirm, reaffirm, reaffirm. Number two tip. You see, I find that many people can't continue to push when they hang out. You know, imagine uh, Im imagine hanging out somewhere where everything is negative, right? Imagine going to tell your hopes and dreams and your goals, right? And you tell them to, 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 to someone who doesn't even care about those things, right? And I feel like I get this all the time when I talk to my staff. <laughs> You know, I, I tell them about the things that I believe they should be working on personally because I believe how you perform at home is how you perform at work. And I always tell them about eating healthy and getting better and starting to, 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 to build skills. And I tell them these things. And sometimes I feel like it falls on deaf ears because if they're not committed or they're not in that same mindset, it doesn't matter. But what I would tell you is talking to negative people about your positive goals is never gonna work. So sometimes you just gotta get around different people. And if you don't have anybody to get around, then don't, don't talk, don't, you know, just go to, separate yourself, isolate yourself. I always tell people on the path to greatness, it's going to be a lonely road. It's going to be a lonely path. And I know that because there are very few people who will take that path. So it's going to be lonely. You're going to pass a person here, you're going to pass a person there, you're going to say hi to somebody here. And those people will all be on that same path, but they're not going to go with you. They're on their own path. Some people just never got on the path, you know? So number two is hang out with positive th people. And number three, it's my third tip and one of my favorites because what really ties home for all of this and not, not quitting, not quitting is, is really just part of you. You see, I think you have to be committed, writing it down. I think you have to hang out with positive people. That means either neglecting or getting away from those people, you know, repelling those people. But number three is, is even equally important and it really ties it all together which is making sure you have right the right plan you see many people go to something and they don't have a plan they go into something and they have no plan i want to lose weight good day one work out 
eat, done. Right, day two, workout, eat, done. Day three, hmm, maybe I don't wanna eat too good. Hmm, maybe I don't wanna work out. Why? There was no structured plan. You see, I found that the most success I've ever experienced in life is when I have somebody in my corner who helps me with the plan and I detail it out and I, you know, I plan it out. It, it's If you've ever put together a, a piece of furniture or equipment without using the instructions that came with it, almost 90% of the time you're gonna put something on backwards or on the wrong leg or the screw in the wrong hole. And, and you know why? Because you didn't have a plan. You just kind of randomly went through it. And then you have to disassemble and reassemble and sometimes you damage. And, and I've done that many times. Why? Because I'm so excited to get something done. Well, when you go into working out or eating better or saving money or starting a career, whatever it is that you're going to, you can't just go into it. Like, although that is the first step, you got to get wet, you know, when you get into the pool. But you have to understand that a plan is important to the structuring so that you don't quit. Day one does this. Day two does this. Day three does this. Day seven, day 21, 90 days, and so on and so forth. This will prevent you from quitting. If you have a plan, you know, here, here's the statement. People who fail to plan, plan to fail. And failure is somewhat quitting. So I hope this helps you today in getting your structure so you, so you can avoid quitting and focus on winning. So I wish you nothing but health, wealth, success, but most importantly, freedom. Thanks, guys.